center. Brad Agnolo unable to pick it up as Coolshaw will take it on his own end. Off the far side boards for Donnie. And Evans tipping into the Colt zone. Yule will pick it up far corner with 110 to go in the second period. Still no score and a fight. And here's circle Jake Evans against Michael Webster. And here's circle of Colt zone. Jake Evans takes a couple of good rights on the side ahead of Webster. Evans is the guy out of hell, but now switches with the left. Missed on it, though. He goes back to the right. Webster connected on a couple of rights. Both uppercut and over the top. And finally, Webster gets the final punch in on Jake Evans. And he falls onto the ice. Belly flat on top of the ice. He gets back up. Michael Webster landed more of the punches there, it looked like, on Evans. Who uh, has not seen many fights in his OHL career. But he stops with a minute nine left in the second period. No score here at Erie Church Arena. And Michael Webster, I think, landed a very good punch that will cause Nate Evans to... Had some repairs in the locker room. Webster threw the helmet off of Evans. That didn't come off of a punch like McGuire was able to do. He gets Corson back in the first period. Evans landed a couple of good rights on the side of Webster's head. Tried to take off his helmet. He could not. Evans ended up switching with the left, and that's uh, where the momentum started to shift from Webster. Evans missed with the left. And connected with a small right, and then Webster started to let loose, landed a couple of uppercuts, and actually missed.